What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up the latest version of the Shad PS4 emulator on your PC. There are several bug fixes and improvements. As we all know, this PlayStation 4 emulator is currently only available for Windows, Mac, and even Linux users. However, it's still in early development. Right now, the emulator successfully runs games like Bloodborne, Dark Souls Remastered, Red Dead Redemption, and many other titles. You can also check out the compatibility list to see which games actually work on this emulator. In this update, they've improved key mappings. You can now set custom keys and shortcuts, and the emulator also supports Xbox and DualShock controllers. Now, let's move on to the releases. Currently, this is the pre-release version of Shad PS4, and it's still in beta. Here, select Assets. You'll see multiple versions available for Linux, Mac, Ubuntu, and Windows. Download the Shad PS4 Windows 64 QT version. You can also get this emulator from their official webpage. Just go to the Downloads section and select your version 0.6.0 QT build. Once you've downloaded the file, it's in zip format, so you'll need to extract it using 7-zip or WinRAR. All right, now open the Shad PS4 folder. Here, you'll find a couple of files, including the Shad PS4 application. Run Shad PS4. Now, you'll need to choose a directory to install your game ROMs. Set a path, and here, I'll create a separate folder named Data, where all the games will be installed. Select the folder. We've now created the directory path. The directory for DLC is already set by default, so just click OK, and there we go. The interface looks quite similar to RPCS3 on PC, which is pretty cool. At the top, we have the usual options like File, where you can import packages, and View, where you can customize settings. If we check for updates, yep, it's already up to date. Now, let's import a game. Select Install PKG Files. Go to the path where you copied the game ROMs. Remember, the ROM files are in .pkg format. Here, I'll select all the ROMs. Now, choose the directory where we created the data folder. Click OK, and the emulator will start extracting the package files. Once everything is done, you'll see a pop-up confirmation. Click OK. If the games don't appear immediately, just click Refresh, and they should display on the screen. Under the View option, you can customize the emulator's GUI to your preference. You can switch to a grid view, zoom in, or use a list view. Personally, I prefer the list view since it provides more details, including the game's region, size, and version. But still, are you getting irritated by that annoying Windows activation watermark? Well, don't worry. Keysfan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in a simple and reliable way. You can quickly activate software like Windows and Microsoft Office using these 100% official keys, which are fully compatible with online activation. Moreover, they provide lifetime after-sales support along with 24 by 7 customer service. Right now, their software super deals are live, so don't miss out. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices with Keysfan. Simply add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG50. 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundles with RTG62. Don't forget to check the description for more details. If a game update is available in the future, let's say the current version is 1.0 and you need to update it, just install the update package. Select the game update file and as you can see, the emulator detects a new patch updating it to version 1.01. Click Yes, and the update will be applied. Now let's configure some settings. By default, everything is set to normal. Go to the Graphics tab and select your graphics device. Here, my RTX card is selected, but you can also choose Integrated Graphics. If you don't have a GPU, you can enable Null GPU, which disables game rendering. Set the display mode based on your preference. For resolution, it's recommended to set it to 1080p for the best experience. If your PC struggles with performance, you can lower it to 720p or even lower. You can also enable HDR if your game supports it. Leave the remaining settings at default, then apply and save the changes. Next, there's the controller configuration. You can set up your gamepad, whether you're using an Xbox or a PS4 DualShock controller for each ROM. If you're using a keyboard, you can configure it too assigning key values and creating shortcuts. 
Now it's time to test it out. Select the game you want to play. Let's go with Bloodborne and click play. The emulator will start booting the ROM. All right, guys, the game has started. If you want to enable FPS meter, just simply hit the F10 key. It displays it right here. Oh, yeah. Come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, you need a contract. I also tested this emulator on my ROG Ally with the Z1 Extreme, which has Radeon 780 in graphics. I use the same configuration settings, and while it's somewhat playable, as expected, emulating the PS4 on a PC is quite demanding. That said, future updates should bring better optimization and compatibility. If you're interested in PS4 emulation, this is definitely a project worth keeping an eye on. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.